Hi, Josh Napier from JR Medical Limited, the ENT Pentax distributor here in Auckland, New Zealand. Now, what we have here today is the highly acclaimed Pentax, K Pentax, stroboscopy system. So, let's run through it. It's a, um, it's a fantastic product and really looking forward to, to showing you a little bit more about it. So we'll start from the bottom up. So down the bottom here, we have just a standard old printer. You can put a um, laser printer on there if you want to as well. Got a UPS device as well. Um, near the UPS device because we've got so much on this um, camera system. It's got the 9310HD, which is the computer of the system. So each one of these disks here is 500 gigabytes. And um, they've got some also, also um, storage space on the hard drive as well, the C drive. And so that's, I think this gives you about four, four gigabytes of, of um, data, video storage and photo storage. So it's pretty impressive. Um, so we've got a little bit of draw here. So this is the Pentax um, camera trolley that we're, we're using. Um, so coming up here to the, the keyboard. And so if we just go back down here, we're going to turn turn the computer on, coming back up, so now we're at the um, 9400 laryngeal strobe, so we're just going to turn this on now. So the strobe system here, we've got, we can use this, this is the, these are our adapters, so for a Pentax, this is a Pentax IR filter, um, so we can use that, um, we can use a Olympus. Um, adapter as well, or a light cable adapter for whatever um, light cable that you're going to be using through it. So you can see here frequency, amplitude, audio, and brightness. And we're using a, um, a LAPL mic and a laryngeal mic as well. So over here on the right hand side, we've got our, our mouse control. We've got a this is for our white balance. And on the left hand side of the cart here, we've got this for the scope holder, connections here too. And up here, we've got the EPKI 7000 camera processor for video scopes, for flexible video scopes that is. And a little water bottle here, because we can also do TNE on the system. So on the system, we can do TNE, you know, pediatric and video. Um, routine video scopes, channel video scopes. We can actually put rigid scopes onto the system here as well um, for stroboscopy or routine neurology. So, hey, look, it's a you can do everything on the system. And of course, up here we've got our monitor, monitor which is on this lovely, lovely little side arm here. So, actually, one of my good customers. Um, sites at the moment. I'm just going through this system. So we've got some speakers on here for, for playback and this is the application here. So be with me as I'll run through the application with you. So I come up onto the, the main menu here, strobe and put the strobe as the password, enter. It automatically brings you through to the KDS application. So this is the K Pentax application, which you see the computer down here. That's basically what's controlling this application here. So really quite quite easy. So what I'll show you here is the um, new exam and open exam. So let's click on to let's open an exam. So we've got the ability here to go through and search the database. This could be several years worth of um, patients' videos. So we can search. We can press search here and a whole list of patient names are going to come up. I'm not going to press that right now because it's, you know, names and whatnot are confidential. So I'm going to type in something. So I'm going to search for a name and my name is going to be Demo. Enter. It comes up the demo file. So all I do here is double click 
on the Devine file. And right here we've got a lovely big image. So this image here is of from a rigid scope. So it's gonna play a video here for you. So down down here we've just got the we can press play and now you can hear the sound. Now how does that look? That looks fantastic. Coming into a bit red on my cell phone, but it's a bit um, more of a neutral colour on my on the screen here. So I can use the the mouse here, the little scroll button. So I'm going to scroll backwards and forwards, so I don't have to you know finick around with it. Um, all I can do here is for down here I can bring this forward if I wanted to. All right, I can right click on here, I can capture the still, I can zoom it in if I wanted to, it's a digital zoom, or I can do a montage. Montage is pretty cool. So I'm just going to make this area bigger here. Let's see, watch this. So I'm going to right click again, create montage. And what we have here is a sequential um, order, or sequential montage. So we have one, two, three, so we'll, let's just roll, do, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use the middle of the mouse here, I'm going to roll the middle button there. Scroll through, and you'll see here that it's all scrolling. Now that's pretty cool. Now I can also take a right click and I can capture still off this too. So, look, the advantage of this system is that we can record a video and then we can play it back in uncompressed format, which is really awesome. Um, so we don't take photos during the procedure, we can take photos after the procedure because we play back in uncompressed format. So, um, so essentially what I've been doing here is I can go back through and I can take photos. We show all the information on here too, with regards to you know the, the strobe, you know what the frequency was and the dB, and we can go into media here. We can another option capture still. We can view the stills that we've created. We can create a report. We can view the report. We can print full screen. So hey, look, it's a lot lot here. But up, up on the really importantly, up on the left hand side, in the little circle there, what we call the global menu, we can enter exam information. So. We've got the patient info, this is the information that was placed in, into the system a bit earlier. Um, clinical info, exam detail. So you can see we've got some drop down boxes here, we can vocal call, vocal fold, each left, right and, and, and whatnot. So what we can do is we can, these drop down menus, you might not essentially like these drop down menus, so you can you can adjust them, you can change them if you wanted to. So you can change, you can add or delete um, one of these options here. Let's close that. So exam summary, so we've added a T and E um, one here as well. And a fees one. So hey look, it's really cool. So whenever you put any information to there, we, we save it. So we save it. And then when we create this report down here, all the information comes up onto that report, which it's already been done, so we'll just go view report. And in a few seconds, this report that has already been done is going to Microsoft Word, so it's all editable. It comes through, so, so we've got the exam detail, exam summary, for example, if you wanted TNE, all those items will come up in there, and it, all the photos that you've taken come on to here as well. So that's pretty. Pretty awesome. See, I can come into here if I wanted to and add some, and, and see, add some notes. So I can adjust this and, and, and do whatever I need to. So we'll just save that. HDMI, I just no, I won't save it. So don't save. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to turn off the montage. So we're back to where we are here. All right. So another really awesome feature that this has is a split screen. So because when you've got speech um, therapy, um, you know, 
speech, speech therapy clinics. We've got a really, um, we, we can really go through and look back in the past, um, say, say the past um, five years or past when they came and saw you a couple of weeks beforehand. We're in an laryngology clinic or a TN clinic, so you can look at the um, look at the differences. So let's have a look up here. I had a bit of a brain freeze back then. Um, so we're going to go. We're going to click on another exam. So we'll go open exam. I'm going to. I can click on save this as a patient, so we can go, go back and look at the the other the um, patient's previous file. But we'll just do the same demo again. Same demo patient. So we're going to click on this one again. And you're going to see now that that video has come up from the start. We're going to go down here. So I clicked up in the KDS exam there. And go window, tile. And what we see here now is a split screen. So we've got the current patient, current folder, and then the previous one. So we can go onto each one of these and you can review them. Got all the all the same information there, play, recall, you know, fast forward, back, and and all the all the information that you need, even the capture still and view stills and and whatnot, and over here too. So we can let's just give an example. So we're gonna play this one. Okay, we'll stop that. We're gonna come over here. This is great. So I think that's that's a really awesome feature. And to get out of that, we just come up into the right hand, let's see, right hand side here, and just close exam, and comes back to our original exam there. All right. So let's let's get out of there. So rather than clicking X up in the top there, um, or rather just click done here, and we can have a look at the new exam. So new exam, so it comes up, you've got three options really. At the beginning of the clinic you can load all of your exams up in the KDS here. So if you've got 10 patients for the clinic, you can load all the patient information up there rather than doing it before every patient. Or you can add the new patient information now. Or you could skip that, go straight to the video and recording and record everything and then put the patient information in after so hey look it is so flexible and you know and I know that there's a lot of people out there who are very finicky about which way they want to do things <laughs> so it gives you all the options all right to keep everybody happy so let's just say new patient last name I'll put test test Test, test, save. Great. And can't record because I don't have the processor turned on. Down the bottom here, flex video. We can program these. We can put rigid scope. So you've got three camera sources that can be connected into here. So sometimes you might have two video scopes like a Pentax and a Olympus. You can have a Pentax processor, Olympus processor, and a separate rigid scope processor. So that's really awesome. So you record from there, or you can record from, from down the bottom here. So you've got the Helen, you've got the strobe, you've got the record button. So you've got all these options. Alright, so I thought that would just be a really brief little overview of the KPentex um, stroboscopy system, or the 9310HD and 9400 strobe. So um, that's J.O. Medical, Josh Nafe. Visit us at www.jmedical.co.nz. Thanks, bye.